Hello everybody and welcome back to an all new Two Noobs Gaming video. This is DMAC360 and I'm here all alone this time guys, but I'm playing a brand new game, a brand new series, and I personally love this game. This is Tropico 4. Tropico 4 is basically like a SimCity, but it's on an island and there's all sorts of different mechanics that are so amazing that I almost want to say that this game could be just a little bit better than uh, SimCity. Um, I, I love this game. I've played it for a while. This this is... Ugh, I, I, can't, I can't even go over how many good things I can say about this game, guys. Really. Uh, you For those of you that do play Tropico... Uh, you'll notice I'm playing Tropical 4, not Tropical 5. Uh, Tropical 5 is the new one out. Personally, I like Tropical 4 better. Tropical 5 is the exact same game, except for different graphics. And really, I, I this this is my favorite. So I, I've recently re-downloaded this. I haven't played in a year or so. And uh, I just went through the tutorial and got all... all uh, acquainted to the to the uh, controls again and uh, we're just gonna hop right into it I think we're gonna do a little bit of a sandbox for now I'm gonna pick a random island and let's just let this load okay here we go random map suggestions so we can pick an island size I like my island size to be fairly uh, large elevation this determines how much mountain how many mountains there are in the area and mineral deposits I like mineral deposits to be high because that is a very good source of income uh, vegetation another good source of income because you can create farms and such actually well let's leave it at that elevation I want it to be somewhat flat I don't want it to be too mountainous let's go with that political stability here is where we turn everything upside down. We're going to put political stability somewhat unstable, I would believe. World economy, this just makes it easier for us. But I'm going to put it at 50%, I believe. Can I? Yep. Uh, game length, really long because we want this to be a long series. Population, uh, let's make it a little harder for ourselves. Let's do 45 people to start off. Random events are normal i'd say uh i don't care about the prominent faction far away place the island is far away oh um yeah no i don't want that on rebel yell rebel is probably a quick take arm yeah turn that off free elections off immigrants out Play receives no free immigrants I, i'm gonna say immigrants on god mode obviously not on difficulty is 150 percent let's see what we can do uh, let's just pick a random guy. You'll see that there are traits down here, and these can really change uh, how the game goes as well. So you want to pick a uh, compulsive gambler. Definitely not. Uh, coward. Nope. Alcoholic. Yeah, no. Scholarly. No, not. I don't want to go with a gambler. He's paranoid. Th that's not horrible. He's a Administrator, I have no idea what a Jingo is, but it has good stats. So let's go with this. And let's see how we do, guys. We're just going to let this load again. Okay, here we go. We're starting off with 20 grand. And... Tiny little thing here. Okay. So, first thing I want to map out. Oh, we're lagging just a touch here. That is okay. The game's just loading up, I'm sure. So, we're going to right-click. We know infrastructure, and we're going to go road. What most people like us doing is putting a road from here all the way over to the town hall, which I lost. There it is. And we're just going to... Oh, we're going to go out to there, I think. Yeah, sure. And then we're just going to turn it and connect it to there. Or maybe it's not going to let us. Oh, yep. It's going to let us. That's how we do it, guys. I'm just going to hit Alt, and I'm going to change this just ever so slightly. Yep. Okay. 
And so, now we start to make some money. So, the way we're going to do this, right off the bat, I'm going to make a heck of a lot of farms. Because exporting of food can be so helpful. It's not even funny. Just zoom out just a touch. What can we do? Corn's not bad. Banana. Well, oh, papaya is right up there. Uh, pineapple, not bad. Coffee. We're definitely not doing tobacco. Definitely not doing sugar. Tobacco, you can uh, you can process it and turn it into uh, uh, cigars. Sugar, you can process it and turn it into rum, which are very, very, like... You, you make a lot of money off of those exports. Uh, we have no other option. I think we're just going to go with some papaya for now, and we'll see what we can do. We might make a canned fruits and vegetable area later. We're just going to keep plopping these down, get all the papaya up in here. We want them to have a fair bit of room around them, because the more room there is, the larger the farm will be. Let's just keep blitzing these everywhere. Uh, farm. Hey, we have four. I think I'll let the builders build those before I make any more. And now it's time to look at our stats. Food quality, not bad. Housing quality, not bad. Religion quality could be better. Respect is amazing. Uh, liberty could be better mm, environment. So, our our pol uh, as as we set it up, our politics are unstable. So we're gonna want to set up some uh, some army Fa fairly fast, I'd say. Uh, we're gonna need all of this stuff eventually with due time. Let's go welfare and economy. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Where is? Oh, yep, here it is. Armory. We're going to buy this blueprint because we have the money for it. And we're probably going to build an army base right off the bat. We're going to rotate him. We're going to put him right here, I think. And we're going to take road. We're just going to stretch him out. This is going to be our army area. Oh, this is going to be our army area. This is where all of our army stuff is going to be. We're going to get all the stuff we need there so like eventually we'll get an armor well why not we have the money right now uh no we don't have the money what am i saying we're in the red already that's just perfect oh gosh that's an amazing start so these farms will start tell me tell me we have a construction office oh we do okay we're good we're good i i was gonna say if i made that mistake this recording would be scrapped if you don't have a recording uh what am i saying if you don't have a construction office then nothing can be built and you're pretty much boned yeah uh once a month there will be a ship that comes in here and it will take any exports you have and it will send them all off to places where you will get money from those places when they buy the stuff what do we have over here a colonial fort. Oh, dungeon. That's totally what we're doing. That is totally what we're doing. 100% what we're doing with that. You'll see these shacks everywhere. These shack, or what am I? Where is it? Where is it? I knew I just saw it. You'll see these shacks popping up everywhere right now. That's because we haven't built many houses yet. Uh, that is obviously right up there on one of the most important things we need to do because these shacks lower land quality so much it's not even funny like i'm i'm right now what are we sitting at we're at 53 percent happiness our housing quality is 52 percent i like that to be way up there and probably the 70s for me to be uh happy and content why don't we Oh my gosh. I like the apartment box. Blocks. I'm gonna buy the apartment blocks. I'm gonna place an apartment block. And I need to get money fast. Oh gosh. Foreign releases of 
deteriorated because of her national debt. That's just a perfect start. And now I'm not going to buy anything. I'm going to speed up time and hopefully we're going to make some money here. Where are... Oh, you're almost built. You are built. So, right now there's no workers here. Uh, but eventually, there will be workers. And in, in probably two months, there will be crops grown, harvested, and then they'll be here for exports. Now, right now, I'm hoping... Every once in a while, the government will send you some money. Not our government. Other governments. Send you a little money to get you off your, uh, to get you on your feet. And that is high priority, as you can see. They jumped right on that, whereas the farm I placed over here hasn't even gotten, gotten looked at yet. Another thing we will most definitely eventually do is put out a, where is it? Fisherman's Wharf, because that makes a fair bit of money as well. <laughs> a fair bit of money. I'm going to, I'm going to apologize in advance. You can hear my, you can hear my chair squeaking probably a fair bit in the background. Um, that would be because this is our first, well, my the vi the channel's first uh, upload that has the new microphone in use as well as the new recording software. So hopefully the quality is good. Uh, if it's not, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But uh, yeah. Oh wow, that got built fast too. So you'll see we need we need the uh, college male uh, generals in order to run this. Oh, that's what I was talking about. They just sent me some money here. 4,000 from the US, 3,000 from the USSR, and we're still 2,000 in debt. <laughs> Great start. Um, anyway, these people in here are all, most of them are soldiers, and the soldiers fight for you. If you don't have a good army and some other country attacks, you're pretty much done. Yeah. Like, if you, if you can't fight back, they will take everything, and you'll just... Yeah, you'll, the game will end. As sad as that is to say. I mean, we're, we're in debt, but I, I believe this is a fairly good start, guys. Nobody's working at my palace. We need high school mail. What is that? We can increase the beauty of the palace by 20. Yeah, I know. I'm going to save up, and then I think my next order of business would probably to get this Fisherman's Wharf. In fact, I might even get that right now, because that's an amazing source of income. Where should I place it? Uh, why won't you snap here? Hello? Oh. Mm. Why aren't you? Oh, there we go. Let's just go. I'm I'm lo I'm looking right here. Construction time increased 15, 17, uh, 12, 13, 16. Oh, eight, five, five. Okay, let's go with five. Well, we're gonna make that high priority. So that means that these guys over here in the construction office. We'll see this building, and it'll take higher priority than everything else. And I like that green rim. That means that there's a lot of good fish around this uh, island. That will probably become our main source of export quite soon. Th this is a this is a nice little little city. I like it. We're pretty flat, as you can see. Except for a little mountain back here. little volcano back here. Um, I do need to make another note. Uh, this, is in, this is similar to SimCity in the fact that there will be events. There will be times where this volcano goes off and it burns everything around it. There will be times where there's tsunamis and earthquakes and uh, nothing... It's it's all fairly realistic dynamism that that occurs. 
There's not gonna be a giant lizard like in SimCity that just comes and wrecks everything. No. Uh, this is a little bit more to real life. My dear president. And you want a school, and I'm not willing to give you a school yet. And now we're only two hundred dollars a net. That is perfect. We're starting to make a few exports. How about I just come over here and uh, I'll check on this uh, this here farm. See how they're doing. Oh, yep. Yeah. They got the papayas. They're growing. Hopefully, they're going to harvest and uh, export. I see this guy right here. That pallet right there will eventually be picked up by workers at the dock. And it'll be moved over to right here and turn into that blue guy. And then when the next boat comes in, that blue guy will be loaded onto the boat. And um, that, in turn, will be sent out. And it'll be exported, and we will make some money off of it. And that is exactly what we want to happen. It is a fairly rough start in this game. Um, I'm going to make a road out here, just because why not? But later, once we get the tourism business going, oh, you can build airports, you can build, well, just open the tourism spot. You can build airports, you can build hotels, you can, in most of my islands, tourism becomes the main source of income. I'm so tempted to do that, but I'm going to wait until we have a little more money. Uh, let's see, what can I do? What can I do? I might make... A logging f a logging camp I think probably I'm going to mm, it's hard to say where is it industry so we can't do the rum distillery because we don't have sugar we can't do the cigar factory because we don't have uh, what's it called we don't have tobacco uh, oh I forgot about mining how much salt mine mine how many minerals do we have oh not a whole lot that's unimpressive uh, very unimpressive actually that's kind of sad huh what to do what to do what to do I don't think I can do mining cannery we can obviously do that or the do we we can do fish, easy enough. Can we do coffee? I, I forget already. <laughs> can we do coffee? Where is it? Where? Yep, coffee. Yeah, we could do coffee. We could do the cannery, actually. I'm debating. We're either doing the cannery or the, uh, the furniture factory. Yeah, that would probably be... The thing is, as soon as you place a lumber mill or even the logging camps, uh, the the environmentalists on the arm on the island basically hate you, and they will not vote for you in elections. Which is another thing that happens here, which doesn't happen at uh, at uh, SimCity. I like this mechanic. I'm gonna save up. We're gonna hope that. The governments send me some of the monies so that I can uh, so that I can do some actual stuff here okay sorry to just cut you guys off like this but uh, we're a few minutes over I'm gonna end it here until the next episode everything's all saved we're gonna just jump right back into it in the next episode uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Tropico 4. If you didn't, please tell me why. Uh, give me some feedback in the comments section below. Anything you'd like to see different. Any other games you'd like to see. And uh, if you did like it, please remember, like, subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. And we will see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.